Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is September 15th of 2018. Going to make this fast. Uh, I've got a bunch of chicken noodle soup here. And I wanted it. We got this a couple days ago. Well, we, my ex-wife and my grown son, they go to the grocery store. They go to Walmart uh, once or twice a month. And they pick up groceries. My ex-wife and my grown son, we all live together and share expenses in this apartment. So the ex-wife uh, always picks up, uh, one of the items she picks up is chicken noodle soup for me. Especially since I've been sick recently. I am a big believer in chicken noodle soup. So, uh, they spent about Three hundred and some odd dollars, a little bit. Of, I think it was over three hundred dollars. Can't remember now how much it was. And when the uh, ex-wife, when Darlene got home, well, in fact, I guess before she got home, when she uh, was coming home, she was saying, "It seems like uh, this is more than you know, a more than normal." Uh, and I don't think we got that much stuff. And then when she got home, she uh, was also going on about she. So uh, finally, she we uh, we enter the uh, or I do for her the tickets. I scan the tickets on my cell phone with the, and then the Walmart app. If if you've purchased something, um, if. It's for sale to another site, cheap or whatever. They uh, scan or whatever, and then they add to your thing here. But uh, anyway, so the tickets are scanned in here also. But uh, so I scanned that in. I almost threw the receipt away. I use after I scan, I usually throw it away. But uh, because Darlene was saying that, you know, so I held on to the ticket or gave her the ticket back. And uh, so then she went through the long receipt using my cell phone calculator. And But anyway, when she was looking through the ticket, there was a something that popped out, chicken poo. Uh, 94, a can of soup. The, n the numbers, when I looked at it on the thing, you know, on the soup here, the last six numbers of cans of soup apparently are six, uh, let's see, six zero one zero eight eight. And then the first four, whatever numbers are, are different depending on what it is. But uh, looking through the receipts, let's see if you can see. I think you can see that. Chicken poo. I think it's actually supposed to be like chicken poultry or something. And uh, can you see that? Uh, in that? Let me see if I can look over here. Yeah, I think that shows up. $94 <laughs> for a can. So I, I think I want to find out what in the heck can of chicken soup is worth $94. Because it ought to be really delicious. So, uh, looking at the numbers, barcode numbers on here, like I said, obviously. Also, the uh, she goes to sometimes the Walmart superstore, and sometimes she goes to what they call the Walmart market. And the market just has food products there. And that's where she went this time. So anyway, uh, Darlene called, you know, had the ticket, and then she called up the uh, the store, and I'm not sure exactly which if she got through to the manager, if she got through to the uh, uh, help desk or whatever. But immediately he asked for the, actually he asked for the the date and the time. He didn't ask for the ticket number. But uh, he asked for the uh, total amount, so I guess he popped it up, or else he had a list of maybe maybe this wasn't the only can of uh, chicken poo. 
that they uh, sold to somebody for $94. So anyway, she explained, and right away he saw the ticket, you know. She was doing this on the phone. And, she, and he said, oh, wow. He says, yeah, he says, uh, uh, just scanned here a little bit. I mean, those those prices are more uh, more in line with what you should be paying at the store. He said, we don't have anything in the store <laughs> that because that's the uh, market and they just have food items. He says, we don't have a product in the store that costs $94. And he says, uh, yeah, uh, you know, just come on up to the store when it's convenient for you and uh, we'll refund, you know, refund your money. So that was all taken care of really fast and everything. But uh, Darlene, uh, quite often when she when she brings them, she does a lot of shopping and she's in a wheelchair full time. Of course, my son is helping, grown son's helping her. But when she comes in, it'll be like, okay, where is that can of, uh, you know, and it's, it's always uh, somewhere. Although once we did leave something in the living room, there's so many sacks, there was a sack in there and something that should have gone refrigerated or whatever ended up not being taken in. But, but generally it's like, okay, where's such and such? And we have to say, oh, no, it, it's it's here. Well, you know, we'll find it. It'll turn up. But uh, she was sure right on, and she always is. She knows e pretty much exactly what, for, this was a aberration or whatever. She knows exactly when she's checking out what it should be, and this time she just didn't catch it, or she just, well, she did catch it eventually. Uh, I can't criticize her in that regard because um, I am the exact opposite. Well, when I go, though, when I go grocery shopping, which is not very often, uh, I usually, as I'm shopping, uh, I pick up an item that's 50 cents and I, in my mind, I say $1. And then, so I know when I get to the checkout lane that, you know, it's going to be a certain amount of money because I don't want to get up there and not have enough, you know, not have enough money. So I do that in my, my head. But a lot of times, though, if I'm just picking up a few items or if I'm in some other type of a store or whatever, I am not, uh, I will, you know, like for going through, well, I went to Walmart uh, a few days before she went, and... Uh, I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. I went to the store, and I think it was like $35 or whatever. I picked up a few items. But when I go to checkout lanes... A lot of times I don't hear what they have some hearing trouble. I don't hear what they say the amount is. And I got a bad habit of just, uh, you know, well, it should, buy, it should show on the, car, on the card reader. But I really do not pay attention. I just put the card in, put in my uh, code, and, and leave. I don't know how many times I've probably messed up because I really don't pay the attention the kind of attention that I should. I don't I don't generally look at receipts, you know, when so anyway this is uh one of these was a ninety four was it ninety four? Ninety four dollar can of soup. We think. Not sure exactly how, you know, the the code showed up, but uh, not exactly. I mean, it, it uh, was not the um, not the clerk's fault. It was scanned. So, and they don't put labels. You know, it used to be there'd be labels on cans or some stores. It'd be on the shelf that they knew. Well, of course, they knew because of the. Uh, uh, so I'm not exactly sure, but it was not the, the clerk's fault. Uh, of course, I guess 
the customer should be looking at the scanner as an item is being scanned and you would notice a $94 can of soup uh, but of course things are going on you're putting groceries in bags uh, and in this case uh, because Darlene uses a wheelchair we don't have we don't even have a vehicle so she uses a Fort Worth uh, service that comes by in a bus and of course she has to pay and she has to pay for an attendant going to a small amount and she goes by the uh, service and so I think at what was happening at that time was that the uh, bus driver has shown up and he came up and was and she was saying you know uh, okay we're just about ready to go and that type of stuff so just one of those things anyway better watch your receipts <laughs> you know you don't want to go and have a uh, $94 can of chicken poo. Um, the reason Echo or uh, Alexa is going off is I, let's see if I can pull that up real quick here. Go to uh, Amazon. Go to um, orders. Okay, uh, I got this today. So I disconnected my uh, router, a new one, and a, it was a nice one, and hooked up this. So uh, came out of the um, cable modem, went into here. Now, what I also had to do, though, was uh, the other outlet on the other side, I had to plug into our voice over IP box because we have two phone lines that use voice over IP. But we only needed one of these because we're, or just one device because uh, we're in a small apartment. But, so everything went okay, except I haven't, I haven't got my two Echo devices working. I don't, the Alexa app is on here. I'm, I've been trying. I can't get them to work. I may just have to go in and delete them, you know, as devices and then re, you know, do it over again. But we do want to get our two Echo devices working. Um, but, oh, and of course, it, uh, there's an app on here for setting, you know, for setting up this uh, device. Go back here, and here it is. And you use that to uh, set, and it's really neat, really easy, really neat. Um, and you can go in and do settings uh, a bunch of settings how you want things set up but it was really easy and really neat but we pay for uh, to Spectrum now it's Charter no it was Charter now it's Spectrum um, we pay for 60 down and 5 up and when our computers were wire, totally wireless now, well, they've been wireless for quite a while. You know, we're not using uh, Ethernet cables. We're using Wi-Fi. Um, so we pay for 60 down, and we, get, and we pay for 5 up. Now, depending on the computer, we... Uh, you know, it, it, it was there for a while. Some of the computers we were getting uh, 30 down, even though we had, because we didn't have, we weren't using the uh, Ethernet cable. Uh, but I think most of our computers, I got a new, uh, you can see it blinking maybe there, a new uh, 
network card. But uh, this is what we're getting now. Uh, and the 10 up, I've never got 10 up. You know, we've used different services and we're, they say we're going to have five up. We get five up. We're getting 10 up now. I have no idea why. Well, it's because of this uh, uh, Google Wi-Fi. But I've tried different uh, sites. I tried uh, different computers. And we are now getting 10 megabits. I'm having trouble connecting to the Internet. Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. So this is... This is remarkable, and this is well worth it. And I paid $100 for uh, the one. And now, if you had a bigger house, or this is an apartment, you know, you would, might need two or three, you know, devices. But uh, this is great. Um, now, the, the app has the ability, which I would not use, that you can... Uh, Decide how much you want priority to go to a certain computer or a certain Roku TV or something. I said computer again. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. Oh, come on here. Well, I'm not going to mess with that now. Need to fix that, but you have the the option of uh, deciding you want more bandwidth to go with a certain device, your TV that you watch Netflix with. You also have the option of setting up a guest Wi-Fi for people, and uh, you also have the ability, if you have kids or whatever, that you can uh, put controls on the devices that they use so that they shut down when it's dinner time or shut down at bedtime for them and stuff like that. So I really recommend it to you. Uh, when I get a chance, when I find some of the excellent uh, reviews done here on YouTube, I'll put their links down underneath, but I highly recommend it to you. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video and check your receipts. <laughs> When you're checking out at Walmart or any uh, any store, uh, don't do like I do. Ch uh, do like my ex-wife does and pay attention to what you're paying and to the uh, receipts. So thank you very much for watching.